I'm Moise Henfi Abis here and welcome to the MMA Roundtable. And today I'm, we're talking about UFC Fight Night 33. And what I'm going to talk about right now is the co-main event of the evening, which is um, a light heavyweight bout between a former light heavyweight champion, Mauricio Shogun Hua versus Ch James Tahuna. And this fight, this one's probably going to hardly have any predictions because with the way fights have been going so far, especially for Shogun Hua, I'm always now to the point where I'm saying it depends which Shogun Hua shows up. You know, it's not, it's not been very good for him recently. He's coming off two losses, you know, one was to Alexander Gustafsson. He was really dominated in that fight. And the loss he's just come away from is from Chael Sonnen, you know, which was a, a hard guillotine choke. And those those were losses that put everyone in that spotlight thinking, should Shogun retire? Should he retire? This is probably that match that if he lose, lose he probably could retire. He probably could get cut. You never know. So this is a very tough match. You know, so I'm going to assume he's going to really come out hard if he really wants to stay doing it. Now, James Tahuna, um, he's coming off a loss as well to Glover Teixeira. The match he had before that, he, he actually won. It was against Ryan Jimmo, and that was in London. I was in the crowd watching that one. You know, I actually thought, yeah, that Ryan Jimmo was actually going to win because of, I thought he was going to knock him out the same way he knocked out Andy Proch. You know? But that wasn't the case. You know, MMA is always unpredictable. So as MMA is always unpredictable, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with this match. I would think, yeah, that with the way Shogun's going down, 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 I would, could easily just say, yeah, that um, James Tahuna's going to win. But Mauricio Shogun, who uh, could come out with something really spectacular or really bring his old aggression back and really try... And become the way he was in the olden days, which is probably hard because he always sh shined in pride, and, you know. And he was one of those soccer kick mania guys, but can't soccer kick in 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 UFC. So it's really a tough matchup, you know. I really don't have a um, I really don't have a winner for this, but I have to make a prediction. Well, before the loss here to Glover Teixeira, James Tahuna has been a little bit on a tear, like going through a load of opponents. You know, I'm sure that he's not going to let one loss from Glover Teixeira destroy him and go down and down and down further. I'm going to say James Tahuna's got this. I think Shogun Hua is a fine fighter. I don't know. I, I think his time could be up, but, um, but maybe... Maybe it might be time to... I don't want to say it. Because he is a brilliant fighter. But as I said already, it all depends which Shogun shows up. If it was the Shogun that fought Leona Machida both times. I'm not even picking the one. I'm picking both times. Even the one where he lost by a decision which wasn't a loss to me. If he, if that Shogun who comes up, you know, I, I doubt James Tahuna will have a chance. But yep, yeah, uh, that's my final prediction. I'm gonna pick um, James Tahuna for this one, you know. So, sat Saturday, Saturday seventh, and that get ready to watch. It's gonna be a great night.